It's National Fitness Day. We all know the benefits of regular exercise, improved fitness, weight management, better mental and physical health, but sometimes even the most disciplined gym goers among us find themselves looking for an excuse to skip a workout. However, according to a survey by SportsShoes.com, which found that 90% of the nation have admitted to making a gym excuse, some are more plausible than others. For example, while the most common justifications for swerving the gym are pretty understandable 39% claim I'm too tired while 28% say they got held up at work. Some of the more bizarre reasons such as I'm having a good hair day or the bake-off is on don't really stand up. Other popular excuses include advertisement continue reading B-E-L-O-W I want to go today, but will work extra hard tomorrow 18% The weather is too nice to go to the gym 13% I find the gym boring 13% The gym will be too busy 10% I have social plans 9% If your exercise regime is suffering now that summer is over and it's getting dark outside, why not see if any of these simple steps from net doctors top fitness experts can give you that all-important kickstart to get back on the wagon. Make it easy it's widely accepted that simply getting to the gym is the hardest part of working out but, we promise once you've got your kit on and your trainers laced up things won't seem so bad anymore. To make the whole process easier, join a gym that is close to work or home, so that it can easily slot into your day. Alternatively, if you find it hard to stay motivated throughout the day to work out in the evening, try getting your exercise in early before work. Fitness expert and TV presenter Obi say yet to save my life and the biggest loser Jesse Pavelka says I certainly prefer getting up early and making the most of exercising in the morning. Another way of looking at it is that you get it out of the way for the rest of the day find your why inspiration is easy, says best-selling author and leading health, fitness and wellness expert Gillian Michaels. However, inspiration without motivation is like working out while you eat fast food. You don't get very far. Motivation is the exact opposite of inspiration is the exact opposite of inspiration because it comes from within you. The key for you is to figure out what healthy means to you. And this answer is different for everyone. For some it's wearing skinny jeans, for others it's living to 100. And it doesn't matter how profound or how superficial your why, as long as you care about it. Getty Hinterhouse Productions Advertisement Continue reading below Get a gym buddy having a partner depending on you for a gym session can make all the difference between failure and success. Plus, research suggests that working out with a friend could have the potential to boost your workout intensity and duration by up to 200% fitness and nutrition expert Laura Williams says pick your partner wisely. Spend some time thinking about who's most likely to positively influence your routine. You don't want to work out with someone who's way beyond your current fitness level, this may end up acting as a disincentive. But equally try to avoid your pal who likes to take it easy and have a bit of a giggle at the back of the yoga class. Fuel up if you aren't eating or drinking enough throughout the day, your energy levels will be low and working out will be the last thing you want to do. Boost your chances of making it to the gym by fueling up on a healthy, balanced diet. Endurance runner Susie Chan, who spent 12 hours straight on a treadmill to successfully break the Guinness World Record, says the biggest mistake someone can make before a long-distance running event or during training is not eating properly. You have to stay fueled. I love food and eat little and often on my long run to keep energy up. It's also important to take on fuel regularly. During ultramarathons I eat pizza as I go, although I appreciate that's not for everyone, you need to find out what works best for you. Related Article 5 Ways to Combat Negative Gym Thoughts Don't be too hard on yourself It's undoubtedly demotivating when you make it to the gym and leave feeling worse than before. But don't let unsatisfactory workouts knock your confidence. British and national wrestling champion and owner of Right Path Fitness Keith McNiven says we all have off days. Sometimes you get to the gym and your body just won't cooperate. Perhaps you find yourself struggling to lift as heavy, or struggling to run as far. Don't worry, you're only human. It's important to listen to your body and allow time off, if you need it. Just be determined to come back and smash your next workout. Visit our collection for more helpful fitness tips.